Um, I think you know we've, there's just been an emphasis on it this week that it means it means a little bit more this week. Uh, rivalry week means something around here, and so uh, we're just we're trying to prepare to give every give ourselves the best chance to win on Saturday. They're pumping in, bow down to Washington. I think for at least part of we were out there. What, what's the what do you think that what's the point of that? What's uh, that get across? I think someone said their band is going to be here on Saturday, and so it's just kind of a little extra motivation that we don't want to hear that on Saturday. You know, so. Do what you want, do what you can in practice, make sure it doesn't get played on Saturday in our stadium. You're a guy who grew up watching, obviously, this program closely. And so memories of Washington games, just even from before you were a player, I mean, you think, you know, reflect on what, what the rivalry means to just the fan base in general. Yeah, I mean, I, I've, I grew up, uh, there's only one thing worse than a beaver, it's a husky. That was what my dad taught me when I was young. And, um, you know, it's it means it means a lot in the community to all the Duck fans, and you know I can remember there's a lot of good memories watching the Ducks play the Huskies growing up. Um, like I said, it just means a lot to the community. This game does. With, with the positive momentum this program has against that program, 15 to 17, is there like an added element of we don't want to be one of the teams to to let them get one? No, I I mean at the end of the day, rivalry games, you throw the records out, you throw talent out, you throw all that out. It's going to be a dog fight, no matter no matter what, really. You know, I mean. We could both be 0 and 8 going into this game, and it would be a dogfight. And you know, we would, both teams would come out and play our best ball because it's a rivalry, and both teams really want to win against each other. So, um, I think that's just kind of what we're focused on is playing our best football. Because at the end of the day, even though we are playing Washington, it's a big game. It's Oregon versus Oregon. You guys are on pass plays. They have one of the better defense in terms of getting after the quarterback. Obviously, you guys are tops nationally in protecting the quarterback. Does that feel like kind of an added thing this week? Uh, I'm not sure if it's added, but I think we all understand this is probably the best front we've seen since week one um, collectively, just from what we've watched on film. So it's going to be a great challenge for us. Um, but we know they want to get after the quarterback and our job is to protect him. So we're going to do what we can on Saturday to get that done. Trice and Martin in particular. The ends, yeah, and their, their, in, their interior guys are really solid players too. You know, they're they're a really solid front four. The linebackers are dynamic, play, uh, they're really fast, play the sideline side to sideline well, they hit downhill. So, uh, it's going to be a great challenge for us. Uh, we definitely got our hands full and great opportunity on Saturday. Where Bo's at, we were, talk, we were talking about him in the Heisman race. What do you think has been the biggest keys for him, whether it was something off the field, on the field, to, to kind of gel with you guys and kind of be the leader and have the offense perform at the level it is and him perform at the level he is? Yeah, I think from the second Bo got here, the first thing that stood out was his leadership. Uh, that was it was very obvious. It was obvious that he had been in big games before and he knew how to command a huddle. And if something went wrong, if adversity hit, you knew he was going to right the ship and kind of get us going. And uh, that was evident during spring ball. It was evident during winter workouts, spring workouts, everything. So just kind of his the command that he has of the offense and his leadership has really stood out. Is there anything he did with, with you guys as a group to kind of, kind of ingrain himself in the team? Uh, just coming in. Well, I mean, first of all, he just came in and he worked hard from the beginning. Um, that the, it was really obvious how hard he was working, and he didn't he didn't come in demanding like, "Hey, everyone listens to me." Like he was actually really quiet to start. And I think a lot of us kind of noticed that because we realized that he was going to be a leader, and he worked really hard. So we wanted to give him the respect as a leader, but he came in like, "No, I need to earn this." And so he really did that the first few months, where he just earned earned the respect through working hard. And, you know, that's really what it takes to be a leader. And I think that stood out to all of us, and it's just kind of grown as the season's gone on. With, with the way the Georgia game went, you know, talking about that leadership, is there anything you saw from him coming out of that game that helped you guys move past it? Um, I mean, I, I can remember before the game, he said, you know, they're gonna they're gonna make their plays on us. You know, we just need to go make ours. And you know, I remember on one of the interceptions he threw, he came off the field and he was like, man, they really fooled me on that one. And I said, hey, what did what did you say to us before the game? You said they're gonna make their plays. They got you on that one. Let's go get ours. And, you know, I think just kind of every single week, just building on that and just building like, hey, you know what? The other team's going to make plays. We just got to make ours. And I think we really built on that after week one. And, you know, obviously things are going to go our way week one. Like I'm not saying we went out and did anything we wanted to do. But um, from then on, we kind of took that mentality of, hey, the defense is going to make plays. Let's respond to the adversity and go make our plays. As one of the guys who's been here for a long time, how much does – being on the other side of this one, and one of the few guys who actually experienced that, do you want to get across to guys who, well, you know, hey, we're dominating this rivalry. You're talking about like 2017? Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, and then like Cam being here in 2016 too, you know, so I mean, there's still a few dudes left who were here when, you know, they outscored us 100 and whatever to not very much those first, those two years there. So um, I think to all of us who have been here for a while, we understand how much it really means. And that 2018 win, how monumental that was to kind of, 
turn that around and okay they're not just going to dominate us they're not going to bully us you know we can we can hold our own and we can go in there and make it a dog fight every single year and we can come out and win games against them what leftover emotion is there from 2020 and not getting a chance to help? uh i would say there's none at this point um that that kind of passed pretty quick you know we've played them since then and you know i think we're i think we're beyond that at this point what was it like manning the show there with alex out in the second half uh yeah i mean just kind of felt like last year a little bit you know it was nothing crazy you know i've obviously played center i've gotten reps out of this season in practice and things like that you know and we've prepared for if anyone goes down and so i uh, just kind of felt like another day of practice you know getting in the center reps just against another team when did you find out that was taking place? Just at half? Was that pre? Was that a pre? Uh, going into the game, we knew Alex was a little bit dinged up, but he was going to give it a go, and you know he did. He went as long as he could, and then at halftime, you know, we kind of felt like, okay, you know, we're up twenty-eight to seven, I think, and there's no reason to put him out there and risk further injury. And so at that point, uh, Coach Clem just said, "Hey, be ready to go at center," and that was that. It's a guy who grew up with it literally your entire life. In this rivalry, was it weird when you had a couple of Washington guys and Junior and Taki join? Uh, it was definitely, season? definitely, definitely a little weird when Taki was in the locker room uh, at first. But you know, we're obviously far past that now, and um, you know, we're just gonna, we're all gonna come together and try to get a win on Saturday. How big is it to play? You know, this rivalry specifically in Austin Stadium and have your fans here. Yeah, it's it's awesome to get to play in front. Of, any opportunity we get to play in front of our fans is awesome, and I know they're going to be extra juiced up because we're playing UW this week, and so uh, just a great opportunity against a really good football team. So uh, looking forward to Saturday. Did you get to face much of Toppy last year? Yeah, yeah, uh, he w he played quite a bit against us. That's what I thought. Um, and I was out there until the end of the third quarter when I got hurt, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, we went against each other a few times, and so we've we've talked, we've had conversations about how it went last year.